The U.S. Mint releases a new Silver Eagle with a star privy mark, and it's not available for sale on their website. Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin in Tucson, Arizona. Thanks for joining me today for a quick reaction to something that I just learned about. And uh, I had to do some digging, and unfortunately I did some thinking. Well, maybe it's good that I did some thinking, because my original reaction to this and my current reaction may be slightly different. The U.S. Mint is making a privy star privy mark for the 2024 silver eagles and it is not listed for sale on their website and not only that you cannot find it on their website now it is on their website but it's not through their normal navigation you have to find it through other routes so what is going on here with this secret star privy marked silver eagle that the mint says that they're going to make 500,000 of well, these are only available through a video game supplier. Yeah, let's just let that one sink in for a minute. So, okay, it's not only available through a video game supplier, but it is in conjunction with a video game. And uh, so this is where things just kind of get weird for me right away because the U.S. Mint just announced earlier this year that it's going to do a partnership with DC Comics. And that is something that's like 20, 20 years behind the curve compared to other mints. You know, Americans are very proud of America, and we're going to guard certain things in the coin collecting realm, yada, yada. And uh, I think that some of it's been to our detriment to be a little bit late to the game. So their first, their first contract is with DC. Their second contract is with Nice Guys Gaming. Nice, no, I said it wrong. Nice Gang gaming right so so here we go uh they are releasing silver eagles with this privy mark in ngc holders that uh, right now if you go and you can find them on ebay for 100 bucks pre-sale 200 bucks pre-sale you but you can also find them at uh, bullionshark.com there'll be a bunch of links down below for some of the stuff that we're referencing here so if you look on if you click on the video title the description you click on that There'll be a drop down. There'll be more links to some of the resources here. Uh, so, so it's fascinating. So, most a lot there, there's lots of video games out there where basically the video game is free if you download it PC or on your on your app, mostly for on your app from the app store. And what they will do is they will entice you to purchase things in the video game that help your video game help you get farther through harder and harder levels. So you will be spending real money on things to help you through the video game. Uh, this is a little bit of the opposite where you are trying to get farther and farther in the video game to be able to accumulate and get real assets. Now, here's the part that's a little bit unclear. Uh, it seems to me that you can unlock certain levels and have the right to purchase one of these coins for $80 shipped, but like I said, Bullion Sharks already doing that for $69.95. So it doesn't seem like there's really a super awesome incentive for people to play the game for the right to purchase it. Now, it did say that there'll be opportunities to actually earn them. Uh, the other thing that they're showing is each video game character in this game uh, has their own tokens that are being produced, but only 250. Right? So the tokens are sounding a lot more interesting to me than the 500,000 Silver Eagles that they're making. But I mean, silver eagles. Silver eagles are always super popular, and so what we're going to see here is we are going to see um, a lot of people clamoring for these. So one, I think, obviously, now that people are going to know about the silver eagle with the star on it, they're going to they're going to want them, and so you're going to see a pretty, I think, robust interest in these. Uh, what's interesting is I, I actually kind of like the idea of giving video game players a real reward. A physical reward instead of something that you're just earning, you know, icons and trophies um, that are just digital. So this, is, I think, is a great idea. Where it becomes a little bit strange for me is just the interplay between the U.S. Mint and this video game company system I've never heard of before. But there's a reason why this video game system, the U.S. Mint and NGC are all involved, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But if you look at one of the pictures here of the, the Silver Eagle, the first thing I'm going to say about this is the location of the privy mark is just strange. Uh, I mean, 
it's just strange. It's like, looks like it's halfway fallen off at five o'clock or something like that. Um, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? So uh, it feels to me like the preview mark should be located elsewhere. Um, I, I don't know. You know, this is me being overly critical. But uh, anyways, you, you, you guys can be the judge of where you think a preview mark should be. But that, that just that looks like I stuck it on there. Like, honestly. Okay, so this stuff all goes together because Mark Salzberg is involved. Now, Mark Salzberg helped found NGC. And he is one of the chairmen for this nice gang company, right? And so he has no doubt has had lots of contact with the U.S. Mint over the years on different things. Um, I think he's got an in there. Now, what's interesting is some of the other guys involved in this video game company. Now, I find this interesting from the perspective of I'm always intrigued when people who are in other industries, high up in other industries, have some type of numismatic interest, right? Like I would love to interview Jack Black or um, Rob Gronkowski. I mean, those are people who are well known in their industry and they also have had a history of collecting coins. And uh, so there's people out there like that that I just want to sit down with and, and have conversations with and just for the, just for the fun of it, right? So the two co-founders or two of the co-founders of this company, Jason Wasserman, uh, worked for 20th Century Fox and Walt Disney Studios. Uh, another one is named Vincent Nguyen, N-G-U-Y-E-N Nguyen, uh, who helped uh, with the production of Ice Age, the movie Ice Age, the movie Rio, and the movie, um, and with some of the Peanuts. Uh, so anyway, this is, this is all just wild, crazy and new stuff, new territory. Um, you know, originally I thought it was just too, too crazy and it didn't make any sense. And it's still weird to me that a, a video game making platform now, now I don't know a lot about today's video games. Let's be clear about that. But also it feels like this is a video game company or brand that I've never heard of. Uh, and maybe they're still pretty popular. I don't have to have heard of them for them to be popular, but it's definitely not one of like the big name brand companies or um, product lines that are out there. It's not like they're doing some type of product line with, um, you know, any type of Nintendo platform or with something like um, Minecraft, who's getting their own movie with Jack Black in it. See, we could have put it all together if we had a Jack Black movie coin slab ngc first release video so by the way the 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 star uh the silver eagles that are available currently for pre-sale from some of these companies are one of the first fifty thousand struck so that's coming out currently they all say pre-sale i don't know when they're shipping you'd have to contact some of them to figure that out so um will these be hot i mean i'm going to jump in my little predictor bubble here really quick and say um you know, I think as far as Silver Eagles go, for 70 bucks with a mintage of 500,000, um, you know, I mean, it's worth probably buying one or two just for the heck of it. I, I think that it's such a weird oddity. There's there's things the U.S. Mint has done over the last decade where I, you know, people don't find out till much, much later. Um, so we will see. We will see what happens with these in the long run. Uh, and you guys can let me know what you think about this this marriage between the U.S. Mint and a private entity that's not, in once again, not, in my opinion, all that well known. Uh, once again, something I didn't think about at first that I think more of today is I, I do like the idea, actually, of them making video games because I have long wanted to make a video game about numismatics, but making video games where you actually have a physical reward for the video game process, progress. Um, you know, if you can fund that somehow and let the kids earn, or the players, kids, they're probably all my age and older, but let the kids earn something uh, that is more than just a digital trophy. I think that's kind of worthwhile. All right, guys, so we go from DC to Nice Gang, and who knows what's next for Silver Eagles. Um, you know, the Al Privy Mark, who knows? All right, guys. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.